How'd you know I spoke English? Americans have a certain walk. How do I walk? With false confidence. The company, based on Robert Little's novel, explores the CIA from the Cold War to when the Berlin Wall came down and some of the decisions that were made to protect the nation. Chris O'Donnell stars as Jack McAuliffe, an Ivy League grad freshly recruited for service into the newly formed Central Intelligence Agency. Intrigued by the mystery surrounding the world of spies, Chris says he downloaded the book to his iPod. Well, like it, it says in the book, I mean, there's no you know, textbooks for, for espionage. I mean, it really, and the book makes all these references to Alice in Wonderland, how you're being, you know, thrown into this unknown world with no sure way of how you're gonna get out and not, not worrying about it. I mean, you've gotta be able to go in there and kind of uh, deal. Beginning of the movie when he's recruiting these guys, says, you know, we're looking for kind of, you know, guys that are imaginative and are, are very aggressive in, in attaining the goals that they, that they want and, um, you know, I think it's a, a very specific breed. Chris talks about how the CIA shaped his naive character. Someone who was very idealistic, um, coming out of Yale and, and being recruited by the CIA, very excited uh, going over to Berlin for his first assignment, and probably, you know, a little green and, and, and realized that it's, it's, you know, working with a sorcerer is very much a, an eye-opening experience. And, and I think that all the experiences he has you know, in Berlin and in Budapest and the Bay of Pigs, these are the events that really helped to shape him uh, as a person. God, Chris O'Donnell, who played Robin in the Batman cool? franchise, is in good company with the original I Batman, Michael Keaton, right and Alfred Molina, who was Doc Ock in Spider-Man 2. The company is a six-hour miniseries okay, beginning August 5th at 8 p.m. on TNT. This information agent. He'd be programmed to give us his history, chapter and verse, without sounding like he made it up. 